So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with a new world video and in today's video we're going to be going through Healy Gonzalez, the speed healing build that I just used in a war yesterday and we only died once during the whole 20 minutes of defense and we were right up in the attack taking down cannons and being right on their doorstep just being right in the thick of the action so you're going to be able to be a huge tank and a massive asset both in the pvp and the pve so if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel as this build will be updated as we continue to get to max level and of course when we get that max level and final building gear uh, otherwise guys let's get straight into this video so the first thing that i'm going to talk about is the fact that we are going to be heavy so we're going to run heavy armor so that we're able to tank as much damage and just stay in the middle of the fight now this is going to give us advantages when we're actually playing pvp but it also makes us pretty much unkillable of which i'll show you later on when you're playing pve so we're going to be running heavy gear here now notice some of the perks here will be looking for perks that synergize with our healing so this one has fortifying sacred ground meaning that allies healed in sacred ground claim fortify increasing damage absorbed by 10 percent now this is really good for your allies clearly for when you're doing the war but it still actually works on you as well so it's really really nice make sure if you can that you're picking up focus and the perfect combination is focus strength for when you're going to be switching weapons i highly recommend that you run either the hammer or the great axe so that you have some crowd control when you need to do actual damage but your life staff as you are leveling up focus will do a ton of damage anyway then as you see here ideally i would want heavy on most of these things but i'm focusing on having that focus stat nice and high and then the actual stats themselves the perks to actually work in my favor in terms of jewelry i've gone for either constitution which will give me more health or some actual luck stats while i'm leveling feel free to mix that around I do have some potions and some health stuff here, but I actually never really use it. So you can kind of just give them to your teammates. So on to the attributes then. Now I recommend a minimum of 100 constitution, particularly if you are doing war. Now if you aren't doing war and you're just focusing on PvE, you can bring that down a little bit. One of the big advantages though is you are able to sit there and just tank a load of damage, meaning that soloing content is pretty, pretty simple. Then the rest of the points going into focus highly recommend that you get to the first two nodes because this will give you extra mana so you can cast more and this will just give you the max health increase by 10 percent if you are struggling with damage you can put some points into strength if you want to particularly as you're going to be using the warhammer or the great axe you're not particularly tied to those if you don't want to those are just the best crowd control weapons you can use the hatchet which has a speed boost which will help you get around the map as well then onto the life staff now this is what i've been running pretty much for the last four days so notice that my life staff is level 18 at the moment because i'm still leveling the way through so there will be updated builds so there are two points to go here but you'll see that these three skills are the most important sacred ground orb of protection and the beacon now sacred ground is absolutely fantastic both for pve and pvp it will put a thing on the floor of which you can stand in and you will heal and when I show you the footage very shortly, you will see that you can heal forever. It is really, really nice. Then you're going to be taking Holy Ground, which is going to give us regenerate stamina and mana very quickly. And Blessed as well, whereas while allies are in sacred ground, they're, they're healed for 50% more. This is huge for war. You need to give them as much healing as possible to keep them alive as possible. Uh, don't forget as well we're taking absolve which will allow us to jump straight to sacred ground because we're not going to be taking divine em uh, divine embers and then we're going to be taking desperate speed and we're going to be taking sacred protection this will mean that even when you're on cooldown anyone that's using any incoming healing will be increased by five percent finally we're going to take revitalize here which means that when we hit anyone with a light attack it will reduce our cooldowns by five percent and then we've taken Enchanted Justice is when in a battle, activate a healing aura for you or your nearby enemies in a four minute rate is healing you for 10% weapon damage each six seconds. It's really, really nice. Again, really, really good for war, particularly this side. Then we're going to be looking at Orb of Protection, which will shoot out a light projectile that grants Fortify and it will heal for 10% of their weapon damage. It's really nice. 
it, it works it works really really well and it actually does a lot of damage if you're trying to use this against an enemy then we're going to be taking the two nodes underneath it which will mean if the orbit protection hits an ally they will gain recovery for 10 seconds and then shared protection if you successfully hit an ally with an orb protection it also grants fortify and recovery again this is absolutely brilliant and you can use it are kind of on the ground and around you as well to give you that as well we're going to be taking protections touch giving you light and heavy tax grants fortify for three seconds when hitting an enemy this will help you stay alive then beacon now this is really really good for multiple different reasons but one of the really good things about beacon is that you can attach it to an enemy or an ally so if you've got an enemy running towards you you can hit him and as he's coming towards you and you might get, be getting yourself in trouble he's going to start healing you as you get there and it's really really nice then you have infused light which will increase the radius of beacon radiance blessing which will mean it'll last longer and then speed of light which will also apply 20 percent haste now this again is very very good for you you can dodge out of there you can also apply so much haste that you'll actually turn yourself from heavy to medium briefly and you'll be able to roll um and works really really good in war and then taking glowing focus here which will um give us a extra little bit of duration as well so that's the gear and the setup then let me show you how the kind of gear set works what you're going to be doing is you're going to be like you can use your life staff to do damage to people and it does a decent amount of damage when you're kind of walking around um at any point in time if anybody hurts you you can just heal yourself so you can see here these are level 45 i'm level 42 um and they hit me for a, a decent amount i've not got a food buff on here at all but what i want to show you is this this is how tank you are we're going to kite up a few enemies here um so we've got two grenadiers which are kind of the more tougher of the enemies uh to be honest with you so we've got three here so we're going to pop sacred ground on the floor first then we're going to pop beacon on the floor and then we are going to pop our other skill as well so as you can see here these guys are hitting us from both melee and range and our health is going up all the time now if i was to be hitting them as well with attacks that would also give us some more healing as well as some more cooldowns and as you can see sacred ground is back already then you can switch to your crowd control which will be able to stun enemies and then follow those enemies up with actual damage so you can see here that my cooldowns are already nearly back so again i pop my two of my abilities sacred ground is nearly back as well so you can see here it's just like impossible to die by this time i will have killed these enemies but i'm just obviously showing it you for your benefit but it is a super super powerful class and to be honest with you you can run a life staff with this build and, and just spec some more into strength and you'll be able to just kind of do a bit of a hybrid build as well it is really really powerful um one other thing to note that once we do get to max level and you can choose to do this if you want to is that you could socket a gem in your actual heavy so i have a heavy here that i'm going to be using when i get to 45 now if it had a socket on it i could put an amber gem into it now an amber gem will allow this weapon to use my focus stat as its damage scaling stat meaning that the more points that i put into focus the more damage this hammer would do if it has an ember gem in it so it's really really nice there and it will allow me to not have to spec into strength whatsoever just bear in mind that you obviously have to gain those amber gems so i do have a couple but i don't want to waste them early on while i'm leveling so there you have it guys that is healy gonzalez i really hope you have enjoyed this video continue to subscribe to the channel or do subscribe to the channel as i'm going to be putting out multiple builds and multiple guides for new world in the coming weeks thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one